Since the introduction of the iPhone, we've seen a lot of different types of consumer technology. Well, one of my favorite areas and most exciting areas of growth is in health tech. And joining me is Adam Lin from iHealth. Adam, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. You know, I've covered the blood pressure doc before. Great product, love it. And I know you guys have uh, some new products here. So we're launching two new products. One is actually a wireless glucose monitor. Yeah. And the other one is a wireless glu uh, pulse oximeter. Okay, so let's start with the glucose monitor okay. first. Now this is obviously for people with diabetes, sure. I imagine. Sure, that's it. So it's basically focused, it's a Bluetooth LE device, so it's low energy, yeah. and it's the first wireless device actually for glucose monitor. So it's really a cool device. So it's actually right here. So you'll see, this is actually the reader. And here is actually the strips. So what we do is actually put the strips inside, and you'll see it displayed. And just like all of our other products, what it does is basically it takes the readings from here, it goes to an application, all the things are stored within the application, and it goes to a free cloud service that we have. And the pulse oximeter is basically function exactly the same way. It takes your oxygen level, very simple. You put it on, within five seconds, it takes a reading. From here, it goes to the application, and it goes to our cloud service as well. Now, now, what is this for? Is this for this is for diabetics as well? No, is it? No, this is not for people. But this is for people who are really active in fitness. Yeah. So climbers, athletes, but in addition, people who are actually asthmatic, COPD. So people carry these devices all the time. Now, you mentioned that it goes to the cloud. Yeah. Uh, why? Why is that? Well, there's two big reasons. One, it's a storage. All of these live locally on your device. What happens if you lose it or break it? And you've been really diligent in taking your measurements for nine months. Yeah. All of a sudden your device breaks. So from there it actually goes to cloud stored. The second thing is once it's actually on the cloud, we can integrate with other third parties. So maybe providers, maybe payers, maybe EMRs, so the information can be transmitted. You know, I can just see this huge growth in this sector because that information could also be relayed to someone's doctor. And then if it gets flagged, they could the doctor can then say, you know, I think you need to come in for a visit. Uh, are you guys looking to work with physicians in the future and other medical health professionals? Yeah, so we're actually, this year we've been focusing a lot with working with health services. So we're integrating with EMRs. Mm -hmm. So from there, basically it is the doctors, yeah. right? The software that they use, this type of product, whenever someone takes a measurement, it not only lives here, but it goes to their system, so they'll be notified of various measurement that comes in. So. It's very interesting. You know, a lot of people I know are going to want to get more information yeah. about this. Where, where can they go online? The best place to go to our website, it's iHealthLabs.com. You know, like I said, it's amazing what we've seen in the last couple of years in terms of technology and consumer technology, especially in the health sector. And this is just an inkling of what's the shape to come in the future. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get.